Hey everybody, it's Master Gallengeist here, bringing you my review for the Avengers issue 12, 2023. I really like this cover. I really like it showcasing Tony's new armor and also all the Avengers going on the offensive because they're going after Orcus uh, in here. And this, of course, seeing the tie to fall of the House of X. Now, my only kind of quibble with this is that I don't know where exactly this fits into in regards to Tony's whole plan against Orcus and trying to figure out how this kind of works out because the last place I left him with this new armor, uh, he was in the Australian Outback and uh, Fei Long was crawling around in his Sentinel Buster armor trying to kill his ass. Um, so... Uh, Timeline-wise, it's just the main kind of beef. But other than that, I think this issue was really well done because of what we get through and the art and the characters and all that. So we get to then in the Impossible City as we see uh, Tony pretty much talking to everybody and being like, all right, because Captain Marvel works off first as Tony, you have the floor. So you know how Orcus crushed Krakow and scattered all the mutants? You know how they cozied up to Earth's governments and made themselves the good guys? You know how I asked you all, I begged you all to let me take point on this, to stay your hand, to let me work with the mutants and get all our ducks in a row? How they took my technology and built sentinels with it? You know how I asked you to wait for the word, to wait until I said go before the Avengers punched back? Well, the ducks are in a row and I'm saying it now, so we can all hear it. Go. As we then see him shift out and we see him, uh, his armor going full blast. Uh, Thor doing lightning, Vision cracking off. Avengers, Target 1, Orcus Automated Sentinel Factory Complex, Merle, Alaska. It's like, all right, and that's what we get through. We get the Avengers going on the offensive and doing this. Well, this is interesting. Uh, a Loki what if kind of thing, a new novel. What if Loki saved Asgard from Tony Stark's revenge? What if Loki was worthy? Interesting. Loki and Valkyrie seek redemption in the first adventure of an epic new multiversal series that reimagines the origins of iconic Marvel characters. Oh, that's kind of cool. So, in here we get Orcus Space Juno as we get Modok uh, pretty much arguing with Garrett. Uh, 3D man. It's like, okay, this is kind of interesting and I'm not quite sure... What's kind of going on here with him? Because I almost get the kind of feel that he's uh, playing Orcus here, but we'll see. As he's like, tell me, what is your purpose here, Garrett? I run Orcus Avengers Desk, Modoc, the job you hired me for, and the name's 3D Man. And I told you, the Avengers weren't going to take our operations line down, but you said my old team was insignificant. In comparison to Krakoa, Krakoa was a nation, and we broke them. The Avengers aren't even a rogue state, hiding out in orbit. Insignificant. Well, look who's about to rustle your jimmies, motherfucker. Your insignificance just totaled a sentinel factory complex in Alaska in less than 20 minutes. Go Avengers. You hired me because I can see things that no one else can. The danger's hiding in plain sight. I saw the scrolls, I saw the mutants, and I've been telling you. The Avengers are dangerous, as we then see... Uh, that same group moving forward as we see them having uh, s done their kind of teamwork to a certain kind of extent for certain kind of purposes. Okay, target one is down. The AI cores are currently scrap metal. They know we're coming for them now. We're in Canadian airspace. Looks like Department H have tasked a flight of box sentinels to intercept. I was hoping to see some of them up close. Maybe we could mix it up a little. Unlikely. Our operation hinges on us moving too quickly for Orcus to effectively respond. Exactly, Vision. Fear not, Tony. We will have a surfeit of Sentinels in due time. That's Thor there, man. He's like, don't worry. We got this. Got that right. City, bring us home. Mighty Avengers to Secret Avengers. And I kind of like that. They get teleported out by the city. Interesting to learn those kind of things. Avengers, Target 2. Orcus Mutant Re-Education Center, A32, Oklahoma. What is your status at Target 2? The, the systems are locked. What's happening as we see that uh, we get the little screens that Panther's got a virus in there. Secret Avengers... Uh, did you hear something? Please, uh, could you please not call us that? Ah! As we see T'Challa just... I love it. Uh, we see regular kind of panels and then quick succession as he, like, cracks ass. I have complete control over the detention center systems. I've disabled the prisoner's control collars. That was quick. Hardly. My virus hasn't been at work for months. 
You didn't tell me that, T'Challa. There are many things I don't tell you, Carol. Said he prepare for visitors, please. And uh, granted, normally I don't. It's like normally you should tell some people about this, but they're. <laughs> And it's mainly the kind of target that he's kind of going after that kind of makes it like, okay, Orcus is a kind of rogue asshole organization, but you should be careful who you start putting, like, viruses and stuff into with regards to computers. Who knows what could, like, come out of that. Here, it works out. Hello, this is the Black Panther. The Avengers have taken control of this facility. Please prepare for evacuation via teleportation. Back to yourselves. Back. And then we see that the secret Avengers is T'Challa and Sam. Uh, Captain America, as we see the shield come out, and Wanda, one warning, put down the guns and let all these nice people come with us. You've just got a shield and we've got guns. You think we're scared of you? Nah, that's never been my thing. I think you should be scared of her and him. It's like, um, yes, Scarlet Witch and, uh, Black Panther? Mm-hmm. Same calls it there. Hi, everyone. Welcome to the Impossible City. I know you're scared, but you're safe here, as we see everybody teleporting in. Carol welcoming them and everything. Really looks really good. I like Tony's armor there. You have to go back there. You have to help them. There's only three of them. <laughs> yes. As Vision's like, only three. As we see that, I love that uh, they're worried about them. And then it's like, yep, only three. As we see Wanda wrecking uh, the Sentinel. Uh, Sam just like going after people. And T'Challa just whooping like a whole group's ass. Not particularly fair for Orcus, is it? The Avengers just liberated a re-education center in Oklahoma. Liberated? Odd choice of words, Garrett. That's kind of what, um, uh, kind of leads me to believe that there's more kind of to, uh, Garrett going on than just that. You wanted someone who could think like them. That's what I'm doing. Fine. Then where are they going next? I see all the angles, MODOK. I don't see the future. You ignored my warnings. You thought the Avengers were up there hiding, but that wasn't it. They were up there planning. The Impossible City and the Avengers in it. It's not a refuge. It's the Sword of Damocles, hanging above our heads. A very, very sharp blade, but one easily blunted. They knew that they'd only get one shot at this, and if they took it at the wrong time, it would be wasted. It's like, shit. And then we see uh, how he's like kind of looking at the plans, and like, well, not how he's, but we of course see that he's having different kind of views on this. So we then see how the Avengers plan's kind of working out, and I really love seeing how their plan's executed. Thor, you're at bat. Avengers target four. Orcus Data, uh, Data Corp. Bar, Minnesota. Hmm. This would all be much quicker if I could simply strike it with lightning. Tell me about it. But this is Orcus. Hardening this site against lightning strikes was the first thing they did. Ah, yes, Storm. Exactly. So, yeah. Not to hurry you, boys. Done. Apologies, Captain Marvel. The level of EMP shielding is tenacious, as pretty much Carol and Thor were dealing with the Sentinels, and Tony and Vision pretty much ripped through. Uh, the building. But when it is compromised, it's a lot easier to deal with. Thor, weapons hot. <laughs> As he goes, hit, and then, boom! I, and I just love the kind of progression. Uh, I always like seeing different kind of ways for paneling to happen, and how it, like, showcases the action. And I just love the flow here. Minnesota Farm is down, and they're gone. How do they know where to strike? How have they compromised our systems? Two questions, one answer. The Black Panther... The responsibility of the office of King of Wakanda has never just been governance. He was also the kingdom's ultimate operative, race from birth to destroy nations from the inside out if Wakanda required it. Yep. If you think so highly of the Avengers, then what are you doing here, Garrett? Let me tell you about the last time I was an Avenger as part of the initiative. I brought in the cavalry during the Skrull invasion, and then they cut me loose. Why? For killing a Skrull. Avengers the Initiative, issue 19. I'm like, um... Okay, so he's got bad blood. I do remember him in the initiative time of what was going on in the comics, but I don't remember what kind of went on with him with the whole secret invasion and everything uh, with what was going on there. It's like, hmm, okay. Captain Marvel to the Avengers. I'm out of, t uh, out of time. The nigga bands are about to switch me out. Tony, T'Challa, you're in charge. Please be nice to you. And remember, she's just a civilian. She didn't ask for, well, this is fun. I'm like, what the hell? So this is kind of similar to what was going on in um, the Marvels, I guess. So I'm like, what the hell's going on here? Who's this? The answer can be found in the current issue, uh, current issues of Captain Marvel. So thank you for giving us that. Hello, Yuna. Welcome to me. Hi, Seti. So reprogramming the Manslayer uh, plastoids worked out, huh? Yes, it is nice to have a stat. It helps in situations like these. So... They're really doing it. They're taking on Orcus. Along with the other heroes of this world, yes. Well, that's good. But I have to ask, as we see the uh, 
Impossible City using the bots to like help people out. It's like, yay. How long until Orcus comes after them? Exactly. Pour it on, don't stop. As we're at Avengers Target uh, Target 6, Mutant Re-Education Center G98, Louisiana. I'm going to hold these bullets here for 60 seconds while you reconsider your actions, and then I'm going to send them back. I would suggest you not be the, uh, be here when I do. And then they kind of look at each other like, Wanda being awesome. Yeah. And then we see uh, Sam and T'Challa working together. Heads up, no need, but thank you. May I? By all means, as uh, Scarlet Witch decides to utilize the shield, it's like, nice. For the record, we had this, but this is quicker, thank you. It's like, yay, and that is another prison liberated. City, how are things? Excellent, T'Challa. I've never had so many guests. It is thrilling. It's like, ah, uh, I feel for the Impossible City. I love the introduction of the Impossible City's character. It's a different kind of take and a different kind of character to kind of have in there. As Granite, it kind of has the whole kind of stuff with the whole synthetic being and like vision and kind of Ultron stuff that kind of goes on with that. So it'll be interesting to see how the Impossible City works out. You see uh, what they're doing? They're destroying critical operational infrastructure and evacuating potential hostages, limiting our leverage. All the while, the Impossible City has been shooting down every orbital asset we have within visual range. Yeah, good tactics there. It's not just the Panther. It can't be. It's all of them. Thor is ancient. He must have fought in thousands of campaigns. Iron Man is a seasoned corporate raider. Captain Marvel has a military mind, and the Vision has a computer for her brain. Not to mention the chaos that resides in the Scarlet Witch. They're systematically removing our ability to wage war at a fantastic speed. They have teleport uh, capacity that we can't tap into. We can't intercept them. So tell me, expert, what do we need? To, uh, what do we do in response? You grant me the operational capacity to do my job. You want the Avengers handled? I'll handle them while you deal with the mutants. Give me an Iron Fist Modoc and I'll wrap it around the Avengers' throats. It's like, no. Avengers' throat. I'll swap them out of the sky. Avengers Target 8. Orcus Long Range Communications Hub. The Azores. Keep formation tight. Avengers, hey, what's... What? Who's on the channel? Lady Uno, what is it? It's like, what the hell? Uh, and we see him pretty much taking on Stark Sentinels. It's like, what the fuck's going on? You've got to get back here. You're out of time. Uh, you've run out of time. You thought if you could hit them fast enough, they'd never catch you. But they don't want to catch you. They don't have to. They just have to catch us as they pretty much start sending the Sentinels uh, toward the Impossible City as we then switch over to Orcus Target 1, the Impossible City Earth Orbit. So, shit. So I really like this one because it shows the tactical... Uh, what that Tony actually really thought this through and the Avengers utilizing themselves worked very well. But now we see how Orcus kind of responds to this and how Garrett does by sending all of those Sentinels to the Impossible City. And we'll have to see if this Impossible City can hold out long enough for the Avengers to get back there and help it out and see what Orcus is actually going to try and do. It's like, ooh, this is, this is going to be gnarly. This is not going to be a great scenario to kind of get out of. And I love how Garrett has, like, goes through and we see how each Avenger works out to this plan. That's a thing that kind of is an important aspect to an Avengers book. You want to understand how each of the characters works without, well, works within the kind of planning and tactics that goes on when Avengers take on a scenario. At least that's kind of what I see, and I really like this book because of that, because you understand why Sam is on the team, why Thor, why Tony, why Vision, why Scarlet Witch, why Captain Marvel, why T'Challa, and seeing them effectively utilized in action, and then building off of each other, and having that synergy with them. It's like, ah, oh, damn, man. it That's the shit that I look for in Avengers comics. Now, granted, I don't mind one character getting spotlights on certain kind of things, uh, if the story demands it or whatnot, like focusing on Kang and everything like that, uh, in regards to the tribulation events. It's just really cool to see those parts work together and just that synergy just... <clears throat> and it's like, all right, they've got a new thing that they got to deal with. Let's see how they deal with this threat. Then we also get the Avengers Assemble page. And then we get a preview for the next one. Orcus's Counter-Strike put the Avengers on the back foot as the true extent of the Sentinel program is revealed. Can Earth's Mightiest Hero stand against impossible odds, or will they fall against the Metal Onslaught? Find out next time on Dragon Ball Z. So, I really like this. I really think that the artwork really shines. Uh, I know I've said this in certain kind of reviews, but the thing is... 
Each kind of wand has certain kind of elements that you look out for, and the hard part for an Avengers comic is to fuse those all together. Like, we get T'Challa having his action moments to shine, showing off his martial arts prowess. We get Sam utilizing his flying abilities and his shield abilities. Wanda with her magic, Vision with his different kind of power sets of phasing in and out, and utilizing his beams and his abilities to fly and punch shit. Uh, Thor with his uh, strength and his hammer and his lightning. Carol with her ability to utilize energy and just like tank things. Tony with his armor. It is hard to find uh, someone art-wise that can handle all of those different kind of elements and synthesize them so effectively. And this, god damn it, it just works out pretty well. Oh, and uh, this is Legacy Issue 778. We are getting close to Issue 800s for a lot of these, so yay, look out for those. So, those are my opinions on the issue. Tell me what you guys think in the comments below. If you liked it, if you didn't like it, if you agree with me, if you disagree with me. Also, like and subscribe, and I hope you have a good day.